Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. I'm Esther. And I'm Melanie. And today we're talking about vanity metrics. What are they and why are they not important? But first, let's hear from our sponsors. We know how hard it is to juggle all things in your business. Accounts, meetings, the never-ending inbox. That's why we've teamed up with Agora Pulse to give you more than five hours back a week when it comes to managing your social media marketing. No complicated Excel documents, long emails, or millions of open tabs. Simply manage all of your social media channels in one place. Go to www.agorapulse.com forward slash Monday Morning Marketing to get one month free. Now all we have to do is figure out how you want to spend those spare five hours. And we're back. (laughs) Well... All metrics are important, certainly when it comes to monitoring your social media. But what we mean by vanity metrics is the ones that people worry about when they really shouldn't. Give us an example. Yes. Uh, So the number of people who like your page or the number of followers that you have on Twitter or the number of connections you have on LinkedIn. If they're not people who are interacting with you, then it's just vanity to say that, oh, I have 47,000 followers for example. And and if they're not, you know, connecting or understanding or retweeting or sharing or having anything really to do with what you're, you know, standing for, it's, it's vanity, just pure vanity. It is right. So yes, it's nice to see the numbers going up. It is nice to see that people are finding you and finding your page or your profile, or, you know, we're talking across multiple platforms here. Um, But the real metrics that you should be measuring are the interactions yeah so and 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 not just that it's when you've created this particular brand or message that you're putting out um it's it's you've got to understand who your audience is and if you're spreading yourself too thinly across different audiences they're not really getting what you're standing for what you represent and it actually messes with the algorithm completely oh oh let uh, okay so you, you touched algorithm go you, that's yours i i don't like algorithms tell people that maybe don't know what the dreaded algorithm is all well, about it well it's very difficult to tell anybody about algorithms to be honest with you because they change so frequently but every single social media platform out there has one um and as does the google search as well that has an algorithm and they're all affected by so many different things they're affected by like the google google algorithm for instance is affected by the types of websites that are being found um by search engine optimization um and on facebook and on twitter and on linkedin and all of those they're affected by the amount of people that are online um the type of posts they're putting up whether they're video um, you know whether they're just straight text posts or links um there's so much going on I and mean, you think about it esther and, and anybody else who's listening out there every single time you open your phone and let's face it most people do um check their social on their phone multiple times per day. exactly um you know this algorithm is fighting with who you last interacted with, who you last commented on. Um, you know, is, is there a paid ad going on in your area that people are targeting you? So this is massive algorithm that you are being affected by every single time you open your phone. And you can mess with it to a certain degree and some you can't. And if you're having all these hundreds of people that have nothing to do with your page um you know, as a like or as a follower. And, you know, you've only got like 200 people that actually bother with your content at all. Facebook are going to say, well, obviously they're not very interesting. They're not very, you know, they're not keeping their audience engaged. So they actually drop your reach on your page because you've got like 10,000 people following you and 200 people interacting. Yeah. And sometimes people want to boost their vanity they want to boost the numbers of followers by doing like share and tag yeah you know, but sometimes things. that works though sometimes know? but then you're not going to get you know if you're doing it for a giveaway that's something unrelated to your page mm. you know like say you and i were to give away an ipad mm. how is that related to our business you know, it would have to be related to the business otherwise it's just people liking and sharing and and tagging 
because they want the iPad. Yeah. And they don't care about our business, you know. Um, and but, they're not thoughtful enough to remove themselves afterwards. Exactly. Well, people forget. I mean, <laughs> people are very forgetful. Let's let's be honest yeah. here, you know. And there is a way, though, for businesses to go in themselves and remove those people. To, on certain platforms, yes. Yeah. Okay. And yes, it could be scary to go from 10,000 to 200, but it <laughs> might be completely necessary. <laughs> but it's always important to check your analytics. Totally. Right. So analytics are very important and they are the backbone to your business. I mean, if you don't know where people are coming in for or what they're coming to look at, then you won't be knowing what content is working and what your audience is interested in. So value above vanity. Ooh. That's my, oh, I know I just came up with that. Wasn't that good? I'm going to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Right. But like Melanie was saying, you need to know who your audience is. Go back and listen to the one to the podcast that we did about uh, our buyer persona or customer persona. And, you know, I know a lot of people have been very um, affected or touched by that episode. And they're taking their time and going through it and maybe multiple listens to figure out who their audience is, because it's one of the key points mm. that you need to know before you go into everything else. I mean, when you when you set up a platform, you obviously want to reach as many people as possible. I get that. Um, and sometimes we can go viral with, with products or let's say somebody's done a really good um, Facebook Live. But if the relevancy of that Facebook Live is gone and you never, ever do one like it again, um, that's the other thing, actually, is, is lives. And people say, oh, I've had all these impressions and and all these people have watched it. But if there's no call to action at the end of it, um and you know kind of a little pointless really i yeah. mean there's you can build awareness that's great you know there are levels there's awareness consideration and then conversion which is synonymous with facebook let's say um <laughs> but you know it, there has to be a point and that's what vanity metrics are there is no point no no and yes it's nice to say oh i have so many followers i have so many people that you know have at one point liked my page but if they're not interacting there's no point there's really no point in having them there so how Pull can off the we band-aid. change this yeah i mean how can we change this okay we've, we've been slating people who talk about vanity metrics here so how can we help people change this like i said value giving value seeing who interacts i don't think it's necessary to go in today if you haven't been posting for the last week two weeks month year and just remove people who haven't been interacting. You've given them nothing to interact with. Start giving them content to interact with and then start filtering off the ones who aren't your audience. Mm. And the other thing is, is that there's lots of apps now that help you um, understand your audience better. There are, um, you know, there's obviously the analytics that's native to every single platform that you can go through. Um, but if you can deliver you know change things up for yourself and start with a proper strategy and we and that's another podcast <laughs> um uh, you know if you can sort out an, a proper decent strategy you can try and re-engage and reinvigorate those people that you got those weeks or months ago or even years ago um you can do email campaigns you can do lives you can invite guests to come on to talk about subjects that matter to your audience um you know I, it's lovely. It is lovely to get new likes and followers. I like getting new likes and followers. Yeah, of course. And that's, you know, that's where the vanity comes in because yeah. you, you get all fuzzy and warm inside. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know I, <laughs> well, you might. I mean, come on, let's be honest. If somebody famous comes on and follows you, do not get all warm and fuzzy inside. I do, actually, especially on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, I know people who have deleted their Facebook page in order to start afresh and not do the like share mm. you know get the super likes that way and they're not doing any ads and they're not boosting the page in any way and they're that's the other extreme okay there's no need to do that either because there are people who have followed you from the very beginning who are still interested in what you have maybe they haven't in- interacted uh, openly but they are watching. And eventually, 
they may even buy from you. And, you know, this is the time, you know, this is the absolute right time to reignite their passion and your strategy. In fact, there really is no better time um, to sort yourselves out and create a plan that's going to, you know, bolster your um, your vision, your plans. Um, and if you can just explain to people what you do, how you do it, where you do it and how to reach you. Honestly, that would be the best thing right now. Yeah, definitely. Call to action, call to action, call yes. to action without being salesy. <laughs> Jeez, that's hard, isn't it? <laughs> that's for another episode. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, guys. Hope you've had a good week and we hope that you'll join us again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.